I don't know if you guys know this yet, but I am actually going on vacation and I'm so excited. Me, my boyfriend, and our group of friends, we are going to Cancun. And I thought it'd be fun to share some travel videos with you guys. So first, I'm going to start with how to pack, since that's what you got to do first. You got to pack before you go on vacation. So if you're interested on seeing how I pack for my vacation, just keep watching. So the first thing you're going to need is obviously a suitcase and this one I got from Target not too long ago and I really like the detail and the pattern it has because it makes it easier to find at baggage claim. So the first thing you need to do is plan out your outfits and I think it's really important to plan them out because if not then you're going to just start throwing in things you don't need and you're going to easily overpack and just pack a bunch of unnecessary things. So one thing I like to do is actually try on every outfit and take pictures of them selfie time <laughs> and I like to look through all of them and I'll decide what outfit I want to bring and what outfit I'll leave at home. Now for shoes, okay this is a little excessive. I'm a shoe girl so I brought two daytime shoes and two nighttime shoes which is a little overboard. It's not necessary at all but that's just what I'm packing for my vacation. And now for my makeup bag and toiletry bag. My makeup bag is actually the smaller one which I got from Target and then this bigger one is my toiletry bag. Got a lot of stuff. I'm a girl. What can I say? So if you guys want to see the makeup that I brought for vacation and what's in my makeup bag, you'll We'll have to wait until next week because I'm actually going to be filming this at the beach in Cancun. Ah! But for this video, I will show you what's in my toilet bag, my toiletry bag, toilet bag, whatever you call it. And so I'll just do a quick rundown. First, I have my glasses because I'm a contact wearer. I have my loofah. I have sunscreen for the face. This is just for the face. Um, I have a pink fragrance, cotton rounds for my makeup remover. I got sunscreen for the body. I got some girl items because unfortunately I am going on vacation during that time of month, but it's okay. And then I also have these wet wipes to clean myself down there. And I got some mini travel moisturizers, deodorant, lip balm, shampoo and conditioner. I got Febreze because boys stink. I got downy wrinkle release, my razor, shaving gel, toothpaste. Oh wait, no, this is not toothpaste. That's Q-tips. This is my toothpaste and toothbrush. Um, I have some awesome makeup wipes that I've been trying out and I really like them. And I have some hairspray in there, my body lotion, and of course my contacts and my contact solution. Oh, and this cute little clean and clear cleanser. So that is everything I keep in my toiletry bag. And as you guys can tell, I'm super big on travel size items. I just think they're so genius because they save so much space. I mean, my toiletry bag is already big on its own, but could you imagine if I were to bring full size products of all of these? I would need like two suitcases, right? So you can grab all of these um, travel size items at your local drugstore, Walmart, Target, CVS, they all have it. But sometimes there are products that you just love and you really want to take with you, but they are just not very smart or they're, they're not the best choice. So for example, I really want to take these three products, but these two over here, my cleansers, um, they have these pumps and pumps are horrible to travel with because they'll just like mess up and goop all over the place and then my body wash is just way too large to take on vacation and I just I don't want to pack that in my bag it's just too big so I like to grab these small little travel things these travel containers from the drugstore and fill it up because it is just a genius idea it saves room it's cleaner you don't have to worry about the pumps like going all over the place and getting your bag dirty so that is what I do. Oh, and I like to label them because it just makes my life easier. So that is all I'm going to do here. And ta-da, these are ready to go into my toiletry bag now. So I'm just going to zip this bad boy up and my toiletry bag is all ready to go. So another thing I like to pack is my accessories and I will just use a small jewelry box. This is from Tiffany's and I put my jewelry, my hair ties, my bobby pins, all those kind of small things that I need. And this works out perfectly for me because I actually don't bring a lot of accessories with me when I travel. I mainly just need this box for my bobby pins and my hair ties. So I will put that in a little jewelry box and just stick that in my toiletry bag or my makeup bag just so that it's secure and safe. So now let's start packing the bag. So I like to start by putting my shoes at the bottom of the bag where the wheels are. So that's what I'm going to do right now. 
And here's a little tip I like to do to make sure that my shoes don't get my clothes dirty. So I will take a small trash bag and place this right on top of the shoes just like this and it's going to protect my clothes from not getting dirty from the bottom of my shoes but also you can use the bag to put your dirty undies in. So now I'm going to put in my toiletry bag and my makeup bag and you want to put the heavier things at the bottom of your suitcase and not at the top because then it's just going to make your suitcase all like uneven and topsy-turvy and all that weird stuff so at the top I'm gonna pack in all of my clothes and there's a lot of different ways you can pack your clothes my boyfriend likes to actually roll up all of his clothes because he can fit more in but I don't like to get all of my clothes wrinkly so I'm just gonna keep them folded like this plus I'm not packing a ton of clothes so this works out perfectly and don't forget to pack your airport outfit as well. You might have missed that because you're planning all your outfits for the days you're on vacation, but don't forget your traveling outfits too. Oh, and your PJs. I almost forgot my PJs. I'm bringing two PJs to vacation because I reuse PJs. I know that might be gross to some people, but I reuse them. So I only brought two PJs with me and that's it for the clothes. So this little zipper in the back, that's where I put all of my undies, my bras, my bathing suits. So I'm just going to stick all of those in right there. And this isn't necessary, but I like to bring my own beach towel for when I go to the beach. Now for hair tools. Okay ladies, you do not need to bring every hair tool you own. I say stick with one flat iron because you can straighten your hair, curl your hair, crimp your hair. You can basically do anything with a flat iron. So I'm bringing one flat iron and I'm wrapping it in my towel so that it's nice and safe and it doesn't break while it's traveling. So now my suitcase is all ready to go and make sure when you're zipping up your suitcase it's not too difficult to zip up and you still have some room because you might be bringing back some gifts and souvenirs. So what I like to do is weigh myself and then so I know how much I weigh and then I will weigh myself again carrying the suitcase and then you can do the math and all the subtracting and all that kind of stuff to figure out how heavy your suitcase is because most airlines, well maybe all airlines I think, have a weight restriction for your suitcase so um, for ours it was 55 pounds but I always say try to keep your bag less than 50 pounds so that you can save room for gifts and souvenirs and for all your cameras and laptops and all those like electronics and valuables and all those kind of stuff make sure you don't put them in here okay did everyone get that these do not go in here because they throw around your suitcases so hard that they might break so I suggest putting those in your carry-on which I will talk about in my next video. Honestly packing can get really stressful sometimes because you're always going to be worrying about if you're forgetting something or anything like that but don't pull your hair out because my biggest rule is to just smile and have a good time because you know what you're about to go on vacation and have the time of your life so just keep calm and carry on. So that is it for this video. I hope it gave you guys some ideas on how to pack for a vacation. Let me know if I was missing anything in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, have a magical day.